Hi guys, it's Danny from the Scrap Effects Design Team for October 2021. Today I'm using my Scrap Effects Junk Journal to create a mixed media page in the journal. So I'm using the October releases, they're quite cute little birds, and I've opened up the junk journal to a graph piece of paper and a transparency. So I'm giving the graph paper because it's quite thin and flimsy a really good coat of white gesso and that will give it a little bit of tooth so that the paint will stick nicely to the page. And because I've already got some um, assemblage on the on the other side of the transparency I'm just going to camouflage that with a bit of an assemblage on this side with some corrugated board and I've got some tea stain paper here so I'm just sort of auditioning the little scraps of paper there on the transparency I've selected a warm palette I've picked a couple of colors from my focal birds and I'm going to use that on the background I'm having a little bit more of a mindful play on the background I'm just creating a few very basic shapes in the background here I'm just using um, a little bit of the reds and the corals and the um, light pinks here to create sort of patterns on the background not just slopping the paint down just to get a coverage but actually just creating a few little abstracty patterns on the background just to give it a little bit more pizzazz or a little bit of interest to the background so I just needed a little bit of a play and I didn't have a great substrate to work on and only had sort of limited space so I really just wanted to create some interest on this graph paper so just some very basic art shapes and rainbow sort of shaped um, patterns on this background now I'm using a very strong craft glue here just to make sure that that corrugated board is going to stick well on the acetate just flicking that over making sure that it's not um, poking out on the previous page and ruining the design on that page and I'm just gluing down all the little extra pieces of paper and once I'm happy with the assemblage on that transparency I'm just going to add a little bit of paint and they just using the same colors that I did on the graph paper just to um, tie the two pages together so it looks like one layout so I'm just popping down those colors and introducing those colors to the corrugated board there now this is the um, old script rice paper I'm just using the rule of thirds here and just randomly tearing up little pieces of paper and gluing that down on my background and I'm using a little bit of matte medium here to adhere those to the pages so I've got three little random pieces of ripped rice paper and I'm doing the same on the opposite page just heat set those and then I'm using the scribbly daisy here this is a um, scrap FX foam stamp and a bit of archival ink in similar color tones and this is a simple leaf it actually is a set of three leaves and I'm just going to stamp them off on the extra cardstock I've got here just the scrap paper and I may use that in the focal point at some stage on my art journal and of course I've gone back to Old Faithful this is collage circle and I love using this little stamp in the background I love that repeated circle pattern so this is the new release patchwork birds collage paper I'm just fussy cutting the large bird out and I'll audition that on the page I've got it sort of in my mind that it will be on the left hand side on top of the corrugated board and you can see how I've pulled those colors from the tail and wings to create the color scheme in the background so it wasn't really working for me I've added a little bit of white gesso here because I thought maybe the bird was blending too well into the background it just wasn't really popping so while we're waiting for that gesso to dry, I'm just introducing another colour here with the teal Posca pen. Just doing a little bit of splatter and some mark making. And then 
some more mark making with the hot pink Posca pen over the stamped images. Just making sure that's really nice and dry before I go back in and doodle over all the daisies with white Posca pen, which really helps those daisies to pop in the background there. Really wasn't loving the transparency side, so I'm just tearing all that up. Um, the paint just wasn't right for the, for the bird. So I'm just going to start all over again. So a bit of rice paper and a pop of that coral colour just so that the pages do work together. And then adhering that rice paper down. I think all that introduction of all the colours on the little bit of corrugated board was just a bit too much and the birds sort of blended in. So I did cut out those extra leaves that I had on the scrap paper and I'm just going to layer those on. And I think that just really helps for the bird to have a little pop of white under it and it helps it to sort of stand in the foreground then. Not so not so much in the background and blend into the background pages. So this again is a new release for October. It's called Bird Mask. And I'm just using the wording from this stencil. Quirky little, little words. And so I'm just going back over with a white Posca pen now that it's nice and dry. And just sharpening the letters up so it's easy to read. And it really makes the words pop on that page there. This is a new release, Bird Cage Transparency, and I'm just auditioning the bird cages, working out which one is the right shape and size for my page. And I'm just going to fussy cut that one out. And then deciding that I need a couple more of those birds from the collage paper. So these are just the mirror image of the larger bird, and I'm just going to audition them on the page, which work out which one sort of fits better on the my page and then fussy cut them out completely. So here I decided that I'd go back over the lettering just once again with a black Posca pen and just sharpen up some of those fuzzy lines um, that the stencil left. And so that really helps for the, um, the lettering to really stand off the page was really happy with the way that looked. And now edging the smaller birds with a little bit of black paint as well, just to help it pop off the page. And I've glued that one down. A little bit of black paint around the edge of the, the page and that helps it to frame. And then a bit more black paint around the smaller bird as well. So now we're just gluing down the transparency. I'm using a little bit of matte medium here and just wiping off any excess glue. And once that glue dries, it will dry clear. Now the bird tail just covered one of the words. So I'm just going back over with the stencil. I've lined it up and I'm just painting that with the Posca pen um, over the top of the tail so that I don't lose any of those um, quotes or words from the stencil and that worked really well so here my video stopped but I ended up using that small bird down in the left hand corner and I did a little bit of hand doodling and drawing over the actual birds themselves as well. Just making a little bit more marks, doing a little bit of line work in their wings and things, and just highlighting some areas that you can see here. And I was really happy with the way that this page worked. It was a, a great art therapy class for me. I really needed just a little bit of a play today. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. And once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.